You two, what's poppin'? It's your boy Big Dog Banner, and I'm back with another video. Today, I will be giving you the sauce on how to core Hall of Fame clamps in one day, as promised. I appreciate everybody who be in the comments giving me feedback. I love the ideas. Keep letting me know what y'all need. But first thing first, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications because you know it's up and it's stuck like I always tell y'all. And no, I did not forget, shout out to everybody. We had 15K views in 48 hours on the new lock build. And like I told y'all, I gotta show respect to lock gang. So shout out to everybody in the comments who spammed up the lock gang. Let's do it again in this video, but let's get right into it. So first, first things first, the most important thing Make sure you are on Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame 12 minute quarters. You wanna maximize the difficulty to get the best amount out of the cores, as well as play as much as possible so we can get this done faster. You will be coring Hall of Fame clamps in less than four or five hours in a matter of six to eight games, trust. So keep that in mind. So I got on my new build to show y'all because I have it cored on every other build. But look where we're at right here as far as silver clamps as of now. Right up under the O and core. So you can see that I don't have it cored Hall of Fame yet. And I just want to give y'all some tips on what to do and show you how to get this maxed out as soon as possible. And of course, we all know if we don't by now, you have to have the batch equipped on Hall of Fame to get it there. But as you go along, you can either do it out the gate or as you add more attribute points to your build, you will eventually do that. But this can show you, give you a good idea of how much progression during, for the core you can get in one game. So literally all you wanna do is full court press every play. Now, if I'm assuming if you have Hall of Fame clamps, you're a lock. So usually you're gonna be at the small four position. It doesn't matter if you point guard, shooting guard, or small four. The key to this is run, uh, you, you come down court, press R bumper or R1, press A, which switches your arrow over to the guard. And you want to literally full court press him the entire play. Like you can look at these clips and you can see exactly what I'm doing. Like, of course, if you're not the point guard, you can't call the defensive sets, but you can run down yourself. If you notice, look where my arrow at. I switches my arrow to whoever bringing the ball up and literally full court press him the entire time. Why am, I, why am I doing that? Usually once they get to half court, they're not moving as much, so you're not getting as many clamp bumps. And also, that's when they're into their office of set, so they're passing the ball. You wanna catch that single person with the ball in their hand as much as possible. Because we all know, in order to get progression towards the core, that badge has to activate, has to pop up. So you wanna full court press every time. You wanna see clamps in, your, in the top right corner of your screen pop up as many times as possible per possession. Every possession, you want to see clamps popping up as much as possible. Every time you touch them, every clamp you get, every bump is clamped. That's more towards your progression. By you playing on your 12 minute quarters, by you playing on Hall of Fame, you are going crazy. And now you can see exactly why. This is what the method is. Full court press and check the ball coming up every play. So there you have it. That is how I literally Hall of Fame core every build in a matter of hours. It never has taken me more than half of a day in one day to core Hall of Fame clamps on none of my lock builds. So let's fast forward all the way to the end now so we can see the progression and how far we've came. Now look at this. Remember where we were before. Now look how far we got. Now you do the math at how much I just progressed. How many games do you think that it would take you to be able to do that for gold, then Hall of Fame? It doesn't get longer the higher the badge. It's the same amount of progression you're gonna get every time. I'm even gonna do you one better and do a side by side from before that game started to after. Check this out. Now look at this. Again, look at how much progression we got in one game. and. If y'all didn't notice, I'm on a brand new build, so I'm not even starting yet. Just imagine if you make it to where you're starting. You can core a badge in one game, in one and a half games. 
a full clamps and that's why it is by far the easiest badge and defense to core it's even easier than it is than uh glove because glove you're not gonna always get the steal and if you don't get the steal glove not gonna activate clamps you can it, it's just as easy to core as i feel like handles for days for guards is because it's something that you can get throughout the entirety of an entire play so there you have it we're here for a good time not a long time this is how you core Hall of Fame clamps in a matter of four to six hours, a couple of my career games if you're locked in. So make sure you like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. Until next time, peace.